What's up, people? In this video, we are going to do Natalie Kuyungi. Um, whatever. Would love to see a review of Florida Fitness. She's gone through quiet, a tr dramatic transformation. I feel conflicted regarding her overall message. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Are you Bulgarian? No, I'm not Bulgarian. Although I, I do like Bulgarian people. I feel like they are... Um, they're, uh, they're very friendly, very outspoken. I don't want to say shameless, but like it's they're, it's it's kind of strange. Bulgarian people they're friendly, they're proud, outspoken, they're just very like exuberant, right? They they all kind of act like flamboyant gay people, if that makes sense. Nothing against flamboyant gay people, blah blah blah, but like that's kind of the Bulgarian attitude is how they act. Anyway, it's uh, it's it's nice. Um, okay, so here we go. Nat Natalia Kuimungi. Oh my God, have I watched this already? When did I watch this? Hmm. Oh, Florina Fitness. Okay. Um, I guess I might have watched part of this at some point. I don't remember doing that. But uh, here we go. Now we will watch it again. Who is this again? Florina Fitness. Okay. If you guys have other recommendations, let me know. Leave me a comment. Hey everyone. Okay, so for this video, I'm actually doing an update uh, from the transformations video I posted two years ago. It's a great video, however, a lot has changed. And obviously, as you grow and you make more videos and you hear what people want to hear more, you notice some mistakes you made in that one or things you didn't say that would have been nice. Um, so I'm gonna start with one. I got a boob job. If you guys, I mean, I thought it was obvious, and that's why I never said it in like the video from two years ago. Also, because I have like six videos documenting my breast augmentation journey, but um, that seems so to be that seems to be really missed, and a lot of people were mad. Every other comment was about the boob. So let's clear that. I got a boob job, personal choice, not fitness related. You cannot grow them. You cannot grow them. They're fat. Because in the comments, someone was like, "Oh, how did your boobs grow?" Someone told me she does a lot of push-ups, and the thread just kept going about how like you can work to get that. No, you, can't, you cannot grow your boobs. Every guy would be like sporting D cups at this point. Um, so no, I don't even do push-ups actually. You get pecs. Huh? You get pecs. You get pecs. Yeah, but you ain't gonna actually get like boob growth. I went from flat to like a D cup, so I figured there was no explaining needing to be done. But so now that we got that cleared. Um, I'm 5'9", that's my height, that seems to be another thing everyone wants to know. Um, in the before fo or videos, they're all gonna be with the red gym floor, and that's simply because I didn't have very many clips of me back then. Like, I'm very limited, I'm, I'm grateful to have had those clips to have seen the growth, but yeah, they were like really short snaps, and I haven't even started working out yet, and that snap ended, and uh, anyways, it was very difficult to find these small clips that I do have. In the before, though, I am 119 pounds, and I'm 14% body fat, yes, very low. Um, in the after, I am, uh, well, currently today, I'm 153. Okay, I'm actually coming out of a bulk, my heaviest was 155, so I'm 153. By the way, the boobs do not add 20 pounds, okay? A lot of people were saying, oh, she gained 20 pounds in the boobs. No, they're actually under two pounds. I don't think any girl would get a breast augmentation if it meant adding 20 pounds on her. Just Google it. It's, it's really simple Google. How long it took? No, this is a hard one. First of all, I'm going through a pregnancy too. It, like, it was right out of a pregnancy, and then I lost all my muscle mass, which made my journey much longer because before my pregnancy, I actually looked fine being really lean um, and shredded, and I had more muscle, and I actually had like a boob. Oh my god. I feel conflicted regarding her overall message. What are you exactly conflicted about? Like, about the boob job or about like working out? Like, what what is there to be conflicted about here? I, I don't know. I don't understand. Um, skinny to curvy fit. Like, what's I, I don't I don't understand. I guess like what what is the is it the boob job thing? Like, is is that it or going from skinny to like getting in shape? Uh, because that's like because the reason I ask is because this this is clearly a girl who exercises, right? She's very good shape, muscle abound. Um, and she's speaking in what seems to be a very transparent way. So she's not like hiding anything. Seems, seems to be natural. I, I'm, not, I'm not, my, my steroid, dar, steroid radar is not, uh, is not going off at this. Um, like what, what overall message, like is this, are you asking me like, are are you like tacitly asking me if I approve of you not exercising? Is that what this is? Like, no, don't get all bulky like that. What's this girl's name? Florina. Don't get bulky like her. Just just be a skeleton. Um, I, I don't know. I'm I'm sorry. You know, I'm I'm just an asshole. Um, okay, let's. I will watch. Um, but I don't know what happened after my pregnancy and breastfeeding. I lost so much muscle, um, and then I just looked very frail. And that's when I decided, <coughs> hey, time to get some gains. Since then, it's been four years. But do not think that it's going to take you four years to achieve that. Like a year ago, I, it, it's, it's like small minor changes you continue to make. You know. So yes, that's a time frame between the videos, but it doesn't mean that it's going to take you four years. Um, you see progress uh, constantly. It's, it's hitting different milestones, uh, noticing different changes every every couple months. You're going to feel and see the changes yeah. happening. And I was learning. I messed up a lot. My first bulk, I actually completely wasted time because I went to such a low deficit that I lost everything because I thought that I would have to eat as low as I once ate. But when you come out of a bulk, your metabolism is actually a lot faster, so you don't ever need to eat that little again. Um, to cut. But you guys gotta watch more videos if you wanna know more about this. I actually have one in depth about bulking. Um, it is called How Girls, what, what, it's a sit and talk. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try to put the title for you guys. Um, but for now, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna let you guys watch the video. 
Hmm. Hmm. A little skinny. A little skinny. Is that your question? Like, should you go from skinny to like bigger or something? I'm not really sure. Uh, okay, let's. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Well, hello there. Um. Hmm. Well, all right. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay, so the before is with the red gym floor. So she's going before, after, before, after. Okay, I understand. I was like, yeah, that's that's a lot of progress very fast. Um, yeah, I like after. Are you kidding me? Like, you know, she's doing a bulk, so she's got a little extra fat. I hate this whole bulking and cutting thing. I think it's fucking stupid. If you're a competitor, which maybe she is, I don't really know, maybe, um, you, you kind of have to do it. There's really no way around it. But for your like normal person, do you need to bulk and cut? Uh, no, I don't think so. It depends what kind of look you're going for, but like, I don't know. I think it's it's unnecessary. Um, yeah, a little skinny here. I mean, she looks good, but like you got to keep in mind the camera adds 10 pounds. So like, you know, looks, I, I don't know what kind of training she's doing here either, but, but in general, ladies of, of YouTube, like, I don't want to say the more muscle you have, the better, but for you, the way that you will probably train, just try and get as much muscle as possible. Because even if you try your hardest, you're probably not gonna gain that much, right? So like, put on more, right? You know, like, the like muscular leg look is super hot, oh my God. Like the big the big muscular ass, like there's there's no man that does not like that. I mean, maybe some men actually, I know, I know one guy who doesn't like that, he likes smaller, but um, yeah, like, it's, it's, I don't know, I like it, I prefer it, but let's, yeah, okay. Yeah, come on, come on. Come on. Like, strong, I don't know if you guys can see this, my face is probably like here, but you can see this leg, I'm sure. Nice strong legs, nice strong core, arms can use a little work, um, just too skinny, you know? I mean, she looks good, but like, just this, this is, this is better. Again, maybe like, I don't know, maybe it's the angle, like these muscles are just not flexing right now. I'm not sure. Come on. What, what message are you confused about, uh, Natalia? Like what's confusing here? <laughs> what's actually confusing about this like this is before right no ass really a little bit this is after big fucking fat ass like th this is this is the this i don't know i like this this is good like this is where my eyes go it's like it's like the drake meme it's like he looks at this he's like you know and he's like to the other one like yeah like no yes and you can you can get here you know it's not hard just fucking do the exercises right um yeah what what message are you are you what's what's confusing about this i don't i don't know Ladies of America, this is good. This is nice. A, a little bit of fat, fine. But you know, okay, we'll, we'll take it, right? Um, yeah. How? Like what? Again, like I said, like what? What message are you confused about? Is it like should I be this girl or should I be this girl? That's why you're confused. Or is, is that what you're asking? Is like what do men find more attractive? Is that? Let me let me just look at your question again. I'm c I feel conflicted regarding her overall message, which is what, I what is the message of this video is basically like I used to be skinny and now I have a fat ass. 
<laughs> that's the message of this video. You feel conflicted about that. So you mean you feel conflicted about somebody saying that they went from being skinny to having a fat ass and the implication is that this is better than this. So does that mean you're, I guess you're asking for clarification. Do guys actually like this better or do I like this better? And you're using me as like, um, uh, like a, a reference of like guys who do like this better or something. Uh, yeah. Hello. Like this, this is where it's at right here. What I would not, I would not turn this down. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Like I, I can't even look away right now. I'm supposed to look at the camera. I can't even look away. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. Like, what was this one? Sorry. Um, and just the side view, a non booty shot. Like this is obviously a much healthier looking girl than this one. Obviously she's got the boob job. So it kind of like changes things a little bit. And you know, she says she's coming off a of bulk. So like a little bit of extra fat, but it's a bulk, you know, which I think is stupid anyway, but like, fine, you know, better this than this you know what I mean no offense anybody who looks like this but this is clearly somebody who just like does too much I don't say does too much cardio but like focuses too much on cardio instead of weight training like ladies if if you want like I'll make it simple for you you can do whatever you want live your life to your thing but if you want my opinion like do squats deadlifts you know do your like meme booty workouts from uh what's a girl's name Georgina Madeline Georgetta you know well probably don't do hers whatever strong curves that girl Shelly darling do her booty, booty workout do somebody's booty workout I don't know um, but like you know this I don't know I like this am my gentleman out there is this is this not attractive to you you prefer this maybe somehow I don't know oh my god <laughs> no wonder I wanted to watch this video <laughs> I'm sorry I'm pausing it so much. I, I never do this, but um, where are these girls hiding? Where are they? What gym do I have to go to? What what city is are they in? Um, it was a home gym. Boring. You know, to be fair, this is not a bad look. She doesn't look bad here. Okay, it's it's leaner. She's a little bit more ath athletic. She doesn't have the boob job either. Um, but but this requires no surgery. You know, a, a wider core requires no surgery, right? Eating more food requires no surgery, right? This this is achieved by eating the right foods. Okay, not fucking eight days a week cardio sessions and kale salads. You know what I mean? This is like this is meat right here and protein powder. Um, I don't know. I, I like it better. Like when, when men say, or I don't know, maybe this is just like guys who are into fitness like this look, but like when we say like, we, we like a girl with meat on her bones, like this is what we're talking about. Okay. This is meat right here, but not, not too much fat. This right here, this is meat. Girl's not going to lose her fucking period because of like uh, her abs are showing a little bit. If anything, maybe this, right? Do you, so it's like, this pisses me off about like, I get comments sometimes girls on my videos. They think if, if a girl can see her abs, she's going to lose her period. That's like, that's 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 their like little sound bited comment so like any girl who works out who has abs she's lost her period come on like you're gonna lose your period from this no you're not this maybe you're like pushing it a little bit it's like this this is like bordering on malnourished um she's very lean i'm sure she's very fit and she trains very hard but like a, a little a little too lean in my opinion um and this is just better looking i don't know So now we're back. There's six things I want to quickly cover um, that were the top comments on the last video. We got thousands of comments. Number one is what did you do uh, so different to have seen these results? And the number one thing is you eat more. You have to eat at a surplus. When you bulk, that's what that means. You're eating more calories than your body needs in order to build muscle mass. Now don't confuse the two. You're not just getting fat. This was a problem on the other video. People were like, oh, you're just eating more. That's all you did differently. No, without training, I would not have gained the body fat. I have very skinny legs. If you see the, the before photos, um, and if I would have just gained as in gained fat, I would have had chicken legs with really big upper body because I was storing a lot in my uh, love handles and my back. So my legs would not have thickened without all that work. Which takes me to number two. Um, but the, the calorie surplus is the most important one. The two improvement in the gym. There's always room for improvement. As you see, my form got better. I started going deeper. There's mind muscle connection. Um, you just try to improve your 
workouts, you try to go heavier. Um, sometimes you have to deload. So in some of those, I'm doing lighter weights. It, it depends what day it is. So don't take those videos as that is all the weight I've ever done. And that is the only workout I've ever done. I had to clear that up. Someone's like, you only do three reps. You're on steroids. No, I'm saving time for you guys. I'm not going to put the entire, the entire full set in there. I'm cutting the reps just to show you guys the body, uh, not the workout itself. Number two, or, I already covered number two. Number three, the Smith machine. That one a lot of people were ripping on. I love the Smith machine. I will stand by the Smith machine. That is all I had available to me in my before body. That gym I was going to only had a Smith machine. But I built a lot of gains on that Smith machine. You have so much variety, ladies. Listen to me. Watch my latest leg day video, um, and you will see a bunch of variety. Uh, things you can't do with free weight squats. Don't let people tell you not to use it. We just saw the rock. We just saw the rock. You um, so let's take those one by one. I just went over them kind of quickly. Eat more food. Yes, but eat the right foods. You know, she didn't say what food she was eating. The, see, the problem for this is that, like, again, no offense, ladies. I don't know if women are just dumb or if they just, they, they, th like, this is, like, the amount of research that they'll do, like, watching this video from this girl who's, like, giving vague, like, very general recommendations, and they, they don't think to do any research other than this, or... I guess it's not fair to say they're dumb, but like it just seems really stupid to me that like this is the extent of research that you will do is like watching some video by some girl. Um, that you think that like you hear this girl say eat more food, so you're like, oh, well, you know, um, donuts are food, so I'll just eat more donuts, right? And then I'll get a fat ass like that. No, it doesn't work like that. You gotta eat the right foods. Number two, number two is working out, I think, right? Training, yeah, I think that was number two obviously right like any of you girls do you do you think you can get a nice body without exercise you can't <laughs> sorry <laughs> maybe there's some genetic freaks out there who can but if that's not you that'll never be you so go to the fucking gym like does this, and again this is why i said like are women just that dumb or does this not occur to them but th these are things that do not need to be said like obviously eat more food and i guess like eat the right food meat and eggs um and obviously go to the gym like you see an entire video of like a girl going to the gym and they're like well does that mean i need to go to the gym and they actually don't know like how i, I don't know i don't get it what was the third one smith machine yeah you know mix it up sometimes do the smith machine why not like when i when i was in new york and i was doing powerlifting, you basically need uh, a, a barbell for everything right whether it's bench press deadlift or squat sometimes the squat rack or the bench press was taken so you gotta use the smith machine right you know, and you can do stuff on the Smith machine that you can't do um, with the bar. You know, the Smith machine has like a bad reputation in the bodybuilding world is like, because it's on a track, you know. But yeah, definitely use it. Fuck, like at least you're in the gym doing something. Oh my God. Using it. And he had sissy pads. And then like, this whole gadget, like perfect little gadget. Um, but if a girl does it, she's a sissy. The rock can do it and he gets away with it, right? No, Smith machine is a beautiful thing. Um, variation, just, just the, the things you can do on it is amazing. So rip on it all you want. I got results. So, uh, number four, <laughs> steroids. This one makes me laugh a little. Not a lot of people said it, but a couple people said it angrily, too. All men on top of it. I don't know if that means something, guys. <laughs> no, but jokes aside, I am natural. Uh, like, I've never taken any steroids. I don't even take supplements. Girls, you don't need supplements. Supplements are like an accessory. You can do it. I just didn't do it. I tried pre workout, didn't really. I didn't like it. Creatine, creatine, I tried for a while. I liked it, but I didn't stay on it because I, I don't know. It's weird for me to stay on protein, or on protein, on supplements. I did try some protein shakes. I don't really like the flavor. I think they all taste terrible. Um, so I didn't do that either. If you check my medicine cabinet, I only have drug free medicine, homopathic medicine that works with your body uh, to recover from you know a cold or whatever. I don't have Advil, Tylenol. You won't find that in my medicine cabinet. Um, I had a natural home birth. I didn't want an epidural shot. I didn't want those drugs in the epidural shots ruining your back. So I decided to have a natural birth, no medicine. Um, our family is very into that. Um, I think medicine weakens the body if, if you take too much drugs. Um, so I mean, I would have I would have gotten an epidural shot because uh, labor is way more painful than lifting weights, you know, over steroids. Like if, if I would use them I would have like well, I wouldn't care what happens in my body but I'm not like that I do very much care I don't even like you know dyes or colors in food I try to get my daughter only gummy bears that are like natural with fruit coloring and all that stuff our family is very much into that so no I'm not on steroids if you don't believe me whatever cool if you really want to take it to an extent pay for it I'll go get tested it would actually do a really good video uh, I got nothing to hide I'm not on steroids uh yeah anybody who says she's on steroids like you know nothing about steroids like this is not <laughs> and to be fair I have made some videos where I've like been like oh maybe they're on steroids and they're they're not like I went back and rewatched the video but whatever anyway um yeah this this is like a, a natural body and, and very well except for the boobs but like achievable with food and not even like that much work in the gym honestly this is not like hard um so yeah it's like and, and as far as like the homeopathic medicine i think that's great that's amazing you know i'm sure like if it was a very serious illness that required medical attention i'm sure she'd go to the doctor but like avoid that shit if you can you know in my opinion Moving on. Number five, my split. Okay, this is very important. Um, I work out every third day for legs. So that's like twice a week. Um, upper body, I'll do one, maybe two sessions. My upper body days only last 30 minutes. My leg days last an hour. I don't think you should do very much in the gym because sometimes you get tired and then that can hurt you with form. You can get injured. Um, but I just don't feel like I'm very effective after an hour. So me personally, that's how much I spend in the gym. Not even 1% of my day, guys. Not even 1% of my day. So for those people that were like, this is your life passion, your golden life is to gain a butt. No, I gained all over, guys. Come on. Look everywhere. But no, I have lots of passions. I, if you guys watch my videos, I'm a plant enthusiast. I have plants all over my house. It takes a lot of my time. Oh, mom, I should have said that one first. That takes the most of my time. I have fish tanks. I have hobbies and interests in life. But this is a fitness channel, so this is what you're gonna find here. Uh, number six. So like basically, all, all of these questions, they're 
like basically what it seems to me is is people are looking for excuses right like do i have to eat more please tell me no because i don't want to eat more right do i have to work out please tell me no because i don't want to work out what was the other one um oh you're on steroids that's why you got those results but that can't be achieved naturally so like now i have an excuse for not having achieved it because i'm you know now i have an excuse to not work out uh what was the third one Fuck, I don't even remember. I'm so out of it. Fucking antibiotics, man. Speaking of like natural shit, like I'm so glad this is my last day. Um, what was the last one? All you do is work out. Like people are so pathetic, honestly. Like I don't know. W watching this shit, like it just it makes me lose so much. And I, I know it's not fair for me to like paint people with a broad brush and say, well, if you work out, you're like this, and if you don't work out, you like have all these like dumb opinions about um like all this like cope about why you're not in shape but for anybody who has like that level of cope as to why they don't have anything like you're not going to make it you're just not going to make it like why you know get your like fucking eight dollar an hour job at fucking jack in the box and go spend your paycheck at the mall like that's what you're going to contribute to society no offense but like wh why are you you, you believe nothing is possible like just believe you can even be wrong and still believe it right if that leads to positive behaviors in your life people don't believe that <laughs> they don't believe that you should believe that um but honestly if, if you like let's let's pretend let's do an experiment let's let's just say that you could wave your magic wand and get anything you wanted in life like actually anything you wanted what would you want i think when you ask people that question most of them don't even know Right. It's like if, if I said one day I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars, you know, but you can't, but you have to spend it um, or whatever. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars. Would you spend it on? Most people don't even know, you know, or they'd say something fucking stupid, like go buy a car or buy a house or go shopping. Money be gone. Fucking six months. You wouldn't like less. Probably it's easy to spend a hundred grand if you have, if you're shit, man, I could do it too. Not like I'm the best with money. Um, but the other example of like, what, what would you, if you, if you could wave your magic wand and have your life be any way you wanted to, you know, what, what would it be like? Um, when you answer that question, you know, it's, it's entirely possible that, that you can do that. Why not? Right. I mean, if you say like, I just want to lie around all day and do nothing, I'm sure there's a way to do that. Right. Fuck man. Just make a YouTube video of, of you like lying around and doing nothing. I promise you there's people out there who will watch it because people watch anything like you could literally make an hour long video and title it like me lying on my bed for an hour reading a book or just staring at the wall and people would watch it and your your whole channel could be like you lying and staring at the wall and doing nothing people would actually watch that and it would become like the new thing and then you'd have like it would be like the new niche you know what i mean i mean come on people do asmr videos like what is asmr you're like <laughs> Like people, th there's hour long videos that is literally just that. And people watch those and they're really popular. Like what excuse do you actually have? Uh, oh, I didn't work just ass. I worked everything. The only thing that don't work is chest. Uh, I didn't work it before my boob job, after my boob job, it was reasonable not to do it. Uh, but yeah, I do work every part of my body, but I'm not gonna show you a bicep video before and after because that wouldn't really show you much. But I do, you know, I mean, right now it's kind of covered because I'm coming out of my bowl, but is, is there anything there? You're like, I don't know, let me dim the light a little and create some shadow for you. Uh, no, but I do work other things. Look around, you know? It's very easy to judge a person based off of a short video, but um, if you want to get to know more about me, if you want to learn how I bolt, I have over 300 videos, and I'm still going to death. All right, so if I left anything out um, and you have serious questions only, I will respond. So comment below, let me know if I did leave anything out. I will uh, pin the comment on top of the links to the videos that go into depth about my bolt for the ladies wanting to know, even men. Uh, same rules apply for guys trying to grow mass. And we're going to end it here. Hashtag love it if you loved it. If you're new to my channel, that just means I've got nothing to say, but I support you. I love what you did. I like this video. So your comment lets me know you enjoyed it. Be sure blah 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 okay i should start pinning comments i'm just there's so much shit i gotta do for these videos anyway i'm kind of over it instagram sexy photos page uh i won't click that i won't get any work done damn 28 inch waist it's like almost as big as me uh, um yeah what was this comment again i feel conflicted regarding her overall message okay so so basically what what this means to me as I'm interpreting this and, and please feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but, but her shit, her overall message seems to be having a fat ass is more attractive than being a skeleton. And in order to do that, you have to eat more and exercise and that's it. Right. Am I, am I missing something? What, what are you conflicted about? Is it the fat ass thing? I think that's what it is. You're asking me if a fat ass is attractive, right? Because I, I don't understand, because this is all good advice. Like, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, how could anybody think this advice is not good? 
and then I'm thinking, okay, this question is coming from a girl. It's like, what is the girl really asking? Again, oh, I'm a misogynist, fine. But like, what, what are girls really interested in when they watch stuff like this? They're lo you're looking at the girl's body and you're like, hmm, is that a nice body? Should I try and get that body? I don't know. Let me, let me think about if I want to do the work, right? And then depending on how easy or hard you think the work actually is, and guys do this too, to be fair. It's just a, a video about a girl for girls. Um, depending on how hard you think the work actually is, you'll like rationalize your choice of either doing it or not doing it. So it's like, and, and everybody does this with a million different decisions, right? It's like, you want to do something, you're like, oh wow, I really want to do this thing. Um, it'll give me a great result that'll improve my life, or so you think. Um, well, let me think, what, what do I actually have to do to, to do that, to make that happen? Well, I have to do this, I have to do this. And then by the time you think of like 10 different things you have to do, you're already like talking yourself out of it. It's cause it's already too much. You know what I mean? You've overcomplicated it too much. So you're like, well, fuck, it's a lot of work. Let me start go. Let me, let me go start asking people to see what they think. Cause if enough people tell me, yes, I should do it. Then it'll like rekindle my motivation to actually want to do it. And I'll go do it. But if people are like, nah, fuck that shit, don't do it. Um, nah, it's a waste of time. Girls with fat asses, nah, we don't need those. Just be a skeleton, it's okay. Um, but yeah, like, okay, so f just for fun, sexy photos page. Now, I want to state, I'm doing this um, to prove a point to Natalia. This is for research purposes. Not because I actually want to look at these photos. I mean, you know, I like, I'm, I'm too mature for that. Damn. Wow. Nice. You see this? That's nice. That's nice. Um, Jesus, fuck, man. This is nice. <laughs> like, that, that's the extent of like my scientific research here. Nice, 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 nice. They're all nice. Well, most of them. Nice. The ones with her ass are nice. Jesus Christ. What, what's confusing about this? Like, really? I don't know. My God. Okay, so this is why I can't, like, I, I don't subscribe to any of those people because I, I wouldn't get anything done. Okay, Natalia Kuimungi, um, get in the gym, do some squats, do some deadlifts. Don't make excuses. You have my official stamp of approval. Get yourself a nice fat ass. And that's it. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for videos or YouTubers you want me to take a look at, let me know. Leave me a comment. Peace.